Hi. Today I want to talk about a topic that's relevant to tactical flashlights that isn't discussed nearly as much as it should be, and that is battery technology, and specifically uh, the current that is drawn from the batteries that power a modern tactical LED flashlight. All LZ modular flashlights are powered by CR123A lithium batteries, all USA made. And these batteries you'll find in just about any serious tactical flashlight for the many advantages they offer. They have higher voltage than compared to alkaline cells, greater energy density, a lighter weight, they operate at greater temperature extremes, the storage uh, life is much better, and the list goes on and on of why the battery technology is superior. But like any other battery, uh, there are limitations, and one of the major limitations we have to look at when we're dealing with tactical flashlights is the amount of current that is discharged from the batteries. Now, CR123A lithium batteries have a maximum discharge spec of 1.5 amps. That is, under continuous use, more than 1.5 amps should never be drawn from the batteries. Now they do have what they call a surge spec, that is 3.5 amps. So for a very, very short period of time, measured in a few seconds, you can pull as much as 3.5 amps from one of these batteries, but under any kind of duration, the maximum current draw you should ever um, discharge from a CR123 battery is 1.5 amps. All LZ modular flashlights are designed to fit well within the specifications for CR123A lithium batteries. That is, they never exceed the 1.5 amps maximum current draw from the batteries. And we're going to demonstrate that here in just a minute, as well as the fact that sadly, many other manufacturers take great liberties and exceed the maximum current draw that should ever be drawn from a CR123 lithium battery. And we're going to show you um, a real quick test on how we can test that and how you at home can test your flashlights to make sure that they are safely drawing no more than the maximum allowable current from the batteries. All right. For a very simple test, all you need is a multimeter or an ammeter, and we will set this up. Make sure you know how your particular multimeter or ammeter is set up with the electrodes in the right place. And this adjusted should be on DC amps. So we can make sure that we're in DC amp mode. And we're going to start our test with our LZ Bravo with a high output AVS head. The Bravo is going to produce 650 lumens. And to test how much current draw we are drawing from the batteries, simply remove the tail cap, take the positive electrode, place it on the threads, the negative electrode on the back negative terminal of the battery, and simply read what the uh, reading is on your ammeter. In this case, we're drawing approximately 1.1 amps. Again, that is well within the maximum current draw of 1.5 amps that's allowed by CR123 batteries. And we'll leave it there just for a second. You can see it's stabilized right at just over 1.1 amps. Again, well within our maximum current allowable from the batteries of 1.5. And this is producing 650 lumens on this two cell body. Again, 1.1 amps. We're going to take the same test and do an LZ Charlie, which takes the same AVS head, but the AVS technology, automatic voltage sensing, knows it's on a three cell body now. It's going to produce 900 lumens. Do the same thing, remove the tail cap, take the positive lead, place it on the threads, take the negative lead, push it on the negative terminal, and again, here we read we have a current of 1.27. Um, Again, well under the 1.5 maximum allowable current draw of 1.5. So now we're again under 1.3, well within the maximum allowable. Again, this is producing 900 lumens, drawing just under 1.3 amps. We'll do it one more time. We'll do this with our M60 based options. This is a three cell model. It's got our 235 lumen Malkoff M60 LED module. We'll do the same thing. Positive there on the threads, negative engaging the negative terminal, pushing in. And here we see we only draw 0.6 amps, which is one of the reasons the M60 based flashlights have such outstanding run times. We're drawing less than 0.7 amps. So we get extremely good run time with those low current draw. And again, we are at less than half of the maximum current draw that's allowable from these batteries. 
Well, as you saw with all the LZ models, well under the 1.5 maximum current draw that's allowable by uh, the maximum specifications on CR123 batteries. Now we're going to look at a competitive light. And this flashlight is actually rated at 1,000 lumens. Uh, sounds very impressive, and indeed it does produce that kind of output. But we'll see that to achieve that kind of output, let's see what kind of current this draws. Again, as a reminder, 1.5 amps is the maximal, maximum current that should ever be drawn uh, and on any kind of steady state basis. And a pulse that is a very short period of time, a maximum of 3 amps is allowable. Well, let's see what this flashlight does. Again, positive on the threads, push the negative into the negative uh, terminal of the battery. And we can see this flashlight is drawing 4.3 amps right now. Well, well above the 1.5 maximum, well above the 3.5. That is allowable uh, that this flashlight is still drawing nearly 4 amps to achieve that kind of output. Well, hopefully this has been a helpful demonstration today showing not only how you can very easily measure the current draw of your flashlight at home, but also show the importance of making sure your flashlight does not exceed the maximum specification of current draw, which is 1.5 amps, and the importance of that for reliability, even for safety, on your flashlights. Go ahead and go to your search engine on the internet, uh, type in something like lithium battery failure, and you can see how important it is to make sure that these batteries are treated right and that they're not discharged too quickly, too rapidly with too much current. Again, never exceeding 1.5 amps and never ever, under any circumstances, exceeding 3.5 amps, which is the absolute pulse maximum. Um, so at Elzetta, we always follow what we call golden rule manufacturing. That is, we make flashlights for others the way we would have others make flashlights for us. We make sure all the safety, all the reliability factors are taken care of. We never exceed even 1.5 amps, let alone 3.5 to make sure we've got the ultimate in reliability, durability for our clients. That's why Elzetta truly makes the toughest flashlights on the planet.